Hi, this is Leslie. Hope you're well. Just a quick update for you on the gold situation today on the gold chart. So we'll take a look at this chart. And also, I want to show you what this potentially means about L gate wave theory on gold and also what this particular data was telling us about gold as well. OK, let's go back to this chart over here. Now, before I talk to you about this particular chart, let me first of all remind you what I said to you back in August. Let me show you this chart. This is the chart on MT4. And on MT4, you will see we hit that target precisely. In fact, that's the high we made on gold on Friday. In the data window, it says the high was 2,076. So what could this mean? That as a matter of fact, I'm expecting gold here to pause for some time. I actually think that's the most likely scenario at the moment. Why do I think gold is likely to pause and actually start a pullback, some kind of reversion to the mean? There are many reasons for this. The market is getting ready for a pullback or a correction in the price, a reversion to the mean. Usually when price gets too far away, get too stretched out from its averages, just like a magnet. Guys, these averages, just like a magnet, draw the price back to them. OK, guys, so that's what I said to you back in the month of August. In fact, in early August, as a matter of fact, we managed to call the top. We caught the top in the price of gold back then, just very close to 2076. And as you can see, just like we said back in August, the price has now pulled back to its averages, to its 21 average and indeed to its 100 average, just like a magnet. On the balance of probabilities, we, we have this triangular formation here okay whichever way you want to draw this triangular formation like this okay and i said that on the balance of probabilities it's more likely for the price to go lower why because if the stock market is going to continue going lower then very likely it's going to drag gold and bitcoin down with it and as you can see here as the stock markets continue to bleed and continue to fall lower they have dragged in fact the s p has dragged both gold lower and also the same thing with Bitcoin. It's dragged Bitcoin down with it as well. So let's continue now with our gold analysis. By the way, in case you're wondering why gold has dropped, there are two important reasons for this. The first reason, obviously, is because of the fact that stock markets have dropped. When stock markets drop, what usually happens is that traders and investors sell their gold to cover their losses. Okay. So when you see a crash in the stock market or a correction in the stock market, like you see, like you're seeing here so far, what happens is that traders and investors who are losing money here, they're they're selling their gold. They're selling their Bitcoin to cover their losses. The same thing happened, by the way, in March. If you recall back in March, the crash that occurred back then, look what happened to gold. Gold crashed with the stock market, not as, not as uh, extremely as the stock market, but nonetheless, it did drop. Again, what's happening here is that traders are selling their gold uh, to cover their losses. And there's another reason why gold is dropping here, and that's because of the US dollar. As uncertainty increases, there's often a rush to safety or a rush to the safety of the dollar. Now, in case you're wondering, well, why is the dollar safer? Because it's liquid. It's simple as that. The dollar, obviously, is a liquid market. Gold is not as liquid as currencies. It's simple as that. So that's what we're seeing. As uncertainty increases, the dollar is going up and gold is getting sold. Now, in case you're wondering, why have I been bearish on gold over the last few months? The reason is everything to do with something I mentioned to you back in the month of July. This was an important piece of data from the COT report, the Commitment of Traders report, back in the month of July. As you can see, the dates for July 21st. And I showed this to you back in August as well. I said, look, the commercial hedgers, the smart money, they're betting heavily in favor of the US dollar. So you can see commercial hedger position was betting heavily in favor, longs, more longs than shorts on the US dollar. OK, so you can see we have net long position here on the US dollar. So you're probably wondering, so what? So what if they're net long on the US dollar? Well, that's bad news for gold. You can see what's happened to the US dollar. The US dollar is surging here, as you can see. In fact, just recently, you can see the price of the US dollar has surged higher here. We've seen a bounce and indeed a major rally here in the US dollar so far. So that shows to us that there is now this high probability that what we said, what we warned some months ago, that the US dollar would very likely go up because the, again, because the commercial hedgers, smart money is betting in favor of it. That has put downward pressure on gold. Why? Because gold trades against the US dollar. When the dollar goes up, as you can see here so far, when dollar goes up, that puts downward pressure on the euro and it puts downward pressure on gold as well. OK, so that's one of the reasons why I've been bearish on gold. Gold hit our targets that I mentioned to you at 2076 and also hit the top of that regression channel there. So several reasons. And by the way, guys, you may remember back in August, um, back in August and July, when I said, look, when I said back then that the price of gold very likely was very likely to drop and start a correction, there was a lot of people who were just angry at me. People were just saying, Alessio doesn't know what he's talking about. Alessio has gone mad. 
Um, so unless he doesn't believe in gold and all that nonsense, the fact is, guys, as I'm sure you probably uh, can see right now, uh, it's important to be objective. It's really important to put aside that nonsense, that herd mentality, and be objective when it comes to chart analysis. So I think we've hit some important uh, levels right now. We've hit the 100 EMA on the chart. We hit the bottom of the regression channel. And here's how I see gold right now. The way I'm seeing gold at the moment on this chart you can see here, I think that I think there's two probable scenarios for gold. One scenario, which is actually my favorite scenario, is that gold very likely has put in an ABC correction. Okay, so I think what has been happening so far since August is that gold has been tracing out an ABC corrective pattern, A, B, C, and I think we're likely right now in the C wave of that correction, in the C wave of wave four. Okay. Now, there is a different possibility for gold as well, a different scenario as well, which is that gold has likely topped. In other words, gold has completed its wave five, and we've likely topped at near 2075, 2076. However, guys, this is not my higher probability scenario. I think that carries a lower probability. So for me at the moment, this corrective wave scenario actually, I think, has a higher probability. If the corrective scenario here, if the ABC scenario is wrong, then we have to take more seriously the situation that gold has topped in its wave five here. So again, which of these scenarios do I think is more likely at the moment? I have to tell you, I think this scenario here is at the moment much more likely that we put in an ABC wave four corrective pattern. And once this wave four completes, once a C wave of wave four completes, we'll begin a nice rally in our wave five higher. That to me is more probable. So in other words, guys, I see the drop in the price of gold right now in its C wave to be a buy opportunity. Now, I'm not saying gold has bottomed here yet, but I think once the C wave, in other words, guys, uh, what I think is happening here is that very likely we're putting, we're putting in A, B, and C. I'm not saying C wave is completed yet. I'm not saying C wave is definitely bottomed because I'm not seeing yet a C wave bottoming formation. I'm saying we have to be careful and wait for a bottoming formation, and especially with gold. Gold is one of those markets that is very volatile. Okay, so you don't want to just call a bottom just because it hits, just because it's reached support. Okay, so gold has to actually show to us a bottoming formation. And I think if this is a C wave, this is our C wave of uh, wave four, A, B, C. Okay, if we're indeed in a C wave of wave four, we have to wait for the C wave to complete. Okay, at the moment, I'm not yet seeing a C wave bottom at the moment. Let's be patient and wait for that C wave bottom. And I think then we can be having a high probability of a situation that this corrective wave has bottomed and we're starting that larger, that larger wave five.